everyone loves pizza, but I'm not talking about the greasy takeaway versions. I'm talking about awesome homemade pizza dough that results in nice, thin, crispy bases loaded up with lots of good quality ingredients. And making your own pizza dough is actually a lot easier than you probably think. So first we need to make our yeast mixture. So you need some warm water. And the reason it needs to be warm is we're going to add some um, yeast to it, which is a living thing. And you also need to add a teaspoon of sugar to the mixture. And now we'll leave this in a warm place and in about 10 minutes time the yeast will have eaten that sugar um, and it will have grown and it will be nice and frothy and then it's ready to use. We need 450 grams of high grade flour. And we need a good, good pinch of salt, about one teaspoon. We can get on to making the sauce now. So I'm making my own homemade tomato sauce. Um, which is, again, really, really easy, more simple than you might think. All you need is an onion, finely dice it, a couple of cloves of garlic as well. So we just need to fry the onion and the garlic until the onion's nice and soft. Whenever I cook my onions, I always like to add a pinch of salt while I'm cooking them. Season your food as you cook it, and you'll end up with a lot more depth of flavour. Add some tomato paste, about three tablespoons and one can of tomatoes. Go for the crushed tomatoes. So just stir it all around, and it will take about maybe five to 10 minutes to simmer away and get really nice and thick. So you can always add some dried herbs, or if you've got fresh herbs, even better. So I've got some thyme. So in the five to 10 minutes that it took to cook the tomato sauce, the yeast should be ready. Yes. You can see it's perfect and ready now because it's all frothy, it's really frothed up and increased in volume. All you want to do is just add it into the flour and salt mixture and a little bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon. So we'll mix this dough up and then we'll knead it until it's nice and smooth. And there's a little bit of a technique to kneading, so what I do is I use um, that part of my hand, or, or of my palm, I push down on the dough and then I turn it and then push down again. So push down, turn, turn, push down, and you'll notice that the dough kind of changes. It becomes a lot smoother. That looks good. So let's put him into um, a bowl. Just drizzle the bowl with a little bit of oil so that when we put the dough in there, it doesn't end up sticking to the sides of the bowl. And cover him up with a tea towel. And leave him in a nice warm place. So again, maybe on the windowsill for about 30 to 40 minutes, and in that time, when we come back, he should be much bigger. So let's check on the pizza dough. So it's been rising for about 30 minutes. Awesome, and you can see it's doubled in size, so it's got lots more air into, in it. And that's from the yeast just being activated and creating lots of gas. Tip them out. Wow, look at that. You can see it. It's all kind of spongy. Perfect. A little bit of flour on the dough so it doesn't stick. And now this makes enough pizza dough for about four pizzas. So I'm just shaping these bits of dough into a rough kind of round shape. And then, I mean, you can use a rolling pin if you like, but I just like to push it out and make it flat with my hands. You do want to get your pizza bases quite thin. If you want to get kids into healthy eating, Starting with pizza is a really good way. They, they just love making the dough. They love putting their own toppings on top. It gets them really interested in food. If you've got a pizza stone, chuck it in the oven and heat it until it's really, really hot. So I've got my oven on at about 220 degrees Celsius. And I'll put this in and let it heat up for about 10 minutes to get the stone nice and hot so that as soon as I put the pizza base on top, the bottom starts to crisp up. And now for the pizza toppings. So of course you can put whatever you like on your pizza, but the general rule is keep it to no more than about four to five different toppings. So I'm gonna use some um, capsicum, some mushrooms, uh, some cherry tomatoes, and a little bit of salami. So spread some of your homemade tomato pizza sauce on top. Okay, now we can put our toppings on. So I've got a little bit of salami. I have some mushrooms, some of the capsicum, and the cherry tomatoes. And some mozzarella cheese sprinkled on top. So 
So this baby is now ready to go into the oven. If you don't have a pizza stone, don't worry, you can just use a baking tray. And the pizza, because the base is so thin, will only take about 10 minutes. Yum, look at that. So you've got a really nice crispy base. The cheese is all melted and golden. Yum, this is looking so good. And the last final touch on top of the pizza is some fresh basil leaves. And you want to do this while, it, while the pizza is still hot so that the basil leaves kind of wilt on top of it. You can see how much better this is going to taste than one of those awful greasy takeaway pizzas. And you can put a little bit more parmesan on top at the end. Perfect, and that pizza is ready to eat. I would serve that with a nice big side salad. And yeah, it makes a really healthy, um, really easy meal to make, especially if you make the pizza dough in advance and you've got some sitting in the fridge already for when you get home from work and you just want a really quick dinner. Um, but that's, that's it, yeah, homemade pizza. Time to taste.